Hi there, this is John Broadhead with Roland Systems Group here at NAB 2010. We're looking specifically at this station, how to get from an SDI source direct to Blu-ray. This is a big challenge in the industry. How do I get a easy to distribute copy of an HD material? Uh, right now that could be on hard drive or maybe a download, but both of those have challenges. Whereas Blu-ray is easy to distribute. Many, most people have a Blu-ray player now. So how do we do that though? First, let's look at the, uh, this, this solution with the first piece. The VCHD here from Ederol has an HD SDI input and that can convert and encode directly to Firewire 1394. So great encoder, we also include a little HDMI output for monitoring as well as a through jack that allows you to take your SDI signal and move it uh, onto uh, another device. So now that we have our signal in FireWire, we move up to uh, our friends from JVC. They have built a Blu-ray standalone recorder that accepts FireWire input. So once you have the signal coming from the VC50, you just hit record and this will record that signal in a hard drive. Now that's assuming that your audio is already embedded in the HD SDI signal. What if that audio is coming from a live uh, mixing board, for example? That's where we move down into our VC300 HD. This is another part of the solution if you uh, want. And uh, let's just take a look at the back panel. This is a little picture of it, makes it uh, easier than flipping the product around. You can see the key part in this is audio inputs here. So now I can take my video source from a video mixer and my audio sources from the audio console, of course, bring them in together with appropriate delay, which the unit can do, and it embeds it ready to go into the FireWire. Again, it can come up into the JVC uh, recorder and you're good to go to hard drive. Once you have the material on the hard drive, you just hit the dubbing button and you can send it and burn right to your Blu-ray disc at that point. And then at the end of the show, or if you're just dubbing from a deck, you've got a Blu-ray disc ready to go onto, um, throw it onto duplicator, run off a couple copies or as many as you want. So there you have a very handy, very easy workflow to go from HD-SDI direct to a Blu-ray disc.